So I'm sitting here with a big old box of stuff that I'm going to have to take a few minutes and go through. Uh, pulling back the curtain on the channel a little bit, and one of the kind of funny things about this is I'm learning that when I go to a local tackle shop, and before I post an episode, I darn well better leave with every bit of tackle that I ever want, because chances are you guys are going to clear it out before I get back again. Retro bassin, kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about bill dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Retro Bassin. It is time for a little Bassin Bud quiz. See if you can guess where I am right now. It has been about a year since I have been out in Denver, Colorado, but I just happened to be out here this week and had to stop by my favorite tackle shop that I discovered on my last trip here, and that is Discount Fishing Tackle. A lot of the Bass and Buds have been asking for me to do episodes where we go through uh, some of the local tackle shops where we've done a retro bass and walkthrough and check out the Bass and Bud aftermath after we've been out of there. Well, it has been uh, about 11 months since we were here in Denver, so uh, I cannot wait to take a walk around this place and see what old school gold has been uh, taken and what's still left. So guys, this is Austin. He works here uh, at Discount Fish and Tackle. So were you here the day that I filmed? I forget. I was not here the day that okay. you were here initially. <laughs> okay. It was just a random, like, happened to stop in here. <laughs> like, I had, like, literally half an hour. I don't even think I had a camera with me. And I think I ended up spending probably about four <laughs> hours here that day filming, like, every nook and cranny. <laughs> Um, Some treasures. So what was the aftermath like after we came through? Certainly had a lot of people call. We sold through everything from old school maps yeah. to black stars to oh. crick hoppers. You name it, uh, there were some folks interested in each and every one of those lures that were, was mentioned. What was the far, like what states people called from? Like you said Ohio? A lot in Ohio, Pennsylvania, had one guy from Florida, had a couple people from the west coast. So, but it was, uh, and then several people on multiple occasions calling back and, and ordering more. Oh, that is so, too funny. Did anybody actually make it into the shop? Yes, so there were some that, uh, one gentleman from Texas came in and mentioned the video. And, and then certainly people in the local area too. There's lots of fans in Denver, it seems like. So uh, those folks came in as well. That is awesome. Well, I'm shocked though how much stuff is still here. Yeah, there's still quite a bit. There's still, I, you know why? Because some of this stuff, I just don't think we captured on film. Yep. So to see what's left, I'm pretty pumped. Um, so what boxes do we have here? So over here, there's a variety of longer stick baits, deeper diving rebels and rainbow trout, as well as oh. a brown trout. Hold here. on, let me see that. With the non-jointed version. non with And how much are those guys per? These guys here are six seventy nine. but as with all this stuff, we're working some deals. Yeah, but this Rebel stuff is tough Maybe to though. find. So look at that. Oh, that's nice. So those are the old school spoonbills. Not even a barcode on the back. Not, that is 100% pre prideco That's gorgeous. Wow. Really nice. Absolutely. And then what else do you have? Yeah, Norman options. A bunch oh. of similar stuff, but then even some... some so these stuff. were hiding. Where were these, man? I did not see these last time. As with everything, there's some nooks and crannies in this place. And, so $4.99 uh, for the old Normans. Yes. Oh, that's a good looking bait. And now this. Brown color, floating. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Springtime. Large mouth of bass. So that is interesting. So that's like just sort of their version of, uh, I guess, the old Rapala or Rebel Minnow. Yeah. Roguish. But four ninety nine. Um, hopefully, you have more of these because I'm definitely swiping some of these. Definitely. Ooh. Holographic uh, options there. Yeah. Oh no! Look at that. <laughs> Holy mackerel. A lot more of the same down in there. It seems like. Oh, that is, that is sick. Maybe a little bit less retro, but some Excalibur with a young Trick little bait. dance. No, I think of the Excalibur stuff. One hundred percent is still yeah. retro. Oh yeah, yeah. And the old suspending model with the red eyes. Yes. So, yeah. Shad's left. Oh, the old shad, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the non-suspending. 
This is actually a money little crankbait on like some clear lakes. I'm sure it worked for walleye, but I actually use it for largemouth. That's the nice floater, sweet. That's the, uh, what is that, the uh, Shad R. Plenty of super dupers. You've got like the world supply of super dupers. Got the retro package. And I want to see the, the I want to see the retro pack. This is the really yeah, retro. That's the retro package. Look at that. <laughs> never even been hung. They're, uh, oh, two fifteen. You have to update your pricing there, huh? <laughs> Especially nowadays. Yes, yeah, seriously. Last time I was here, I was so surprised how many spinners and spoons you guys have. So, what kind of fish are most of these? geared for is this like walleye pike so the interesting backstory on these is there's a, a wholesaler in nevada called hendrix outdoors and we work with hendrix to get tasmanian devils and a whole host of other common lures but he ran across a warehouse where none of this was touched at all and i bought the entire lot from him so when was this uh it's been probably five or six years still at this point maybe even longer now honestly i've been here now 11 years but uh it, we sold through a lot of it, but being in Nevada, it was a lot of trout-oriented items. So the super dupers, the spinners, the old maps, the old cyclones. Um, then that uh, has, it, it's more pertinent out here out west, but the interesting thing that a lot of people don't understand about Colorado is you right down I-25, you go east, very warm water oriented, and then certainly west into the mountains, you have all the cold water species too. And I also noticed you're wearing the new Discount Fishing yes. Tackle shirt. That's uh, that's pretty slick. I, that was not here last time. Not I think you guys time. just had the logo and a yes. sticker. Yes. Dude, those are awesome. So what size did they make? Because uh, the Bass and Buds, we saw a lot of the 2 and 3 XLs oh, in the old shirts. I have up to 3 XL. Okay, and you'll ship, right? Absolutely. Nice. Absolutely. Oh, that that's a, is that like the 50-50? That's like a nice looking uh, shirt. Guy, oh, yeah. Yeah, these guys, I like these a lot. The blend's good. Yep. Um, they last a long time. We have sun shirts, too. It's a very retro looking shirt. What do you got there? A little Clio? So this is interesting too, because it has, it looks like the new packaging with Acme, but then you flip it over and it is straight Acme Tackle Company, not hard and soft fishing. Oh, so wait, how old is this then? In this same type of, of age grouping. So, so how old do you think all these baits are here? Taking a peek at some of these. I mean, we're still dealing with sending a three dollar catalog and order information here in the mail does this have a um, fax number because that's always a good giveaway too <laughs> yeah, let's see if we have some without the price tag on that spot not even a phone number or a fax number it's talking about lure jensen certainly pre normark okay all this but i mean it, it's hard for me to 100 percent tell without being a, a super expert when it comes to some of these older designs but i mean i would have to be thinking of eight Oh, that is wild. So, all right, so since we were last year, uh, have we inspired you to fish retro? Any, anybody in the shop? I'm just curious if you guys started throwing older gear, digging into it. You know, I have such a giant arsenal of tackle, and it's funny because you dig through, and, and some of these older items can be really pretty darn good. Yeah. And uh, every once in a while, I'll, I'll certainly break it out depending upon the application. You said the meth sold really well, right? They did, yes. And I had a lot of them, <laughs> certainly still some, but a lot less now. Let me try this Getting more. into the lightnings. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 the light. I remember these. Uh, yep. I actually swiped a bunch of these, I think. And then into, kind of interesting, these came on the same situation. I'm not okay, sure what so a CP I swing is, All right, but so I think that I missed these the first time I was here. Yeah. I don't I don't remember seeing this package. I 100% I would have grabbed that. Mm -hmm. CP Swing Lures, the Swinger, for two ninety nine, And that is like just the most glorious package I've ever seen. <laughs> so where was this made? Woodside, New York. So this must have been one. I don't know. Was this on the peg last time I was here, or did you guys yeah, find this? It's tough for me. To, tough to say. We were moving stuff in and out so okay. often down here. So I noticed that, and uh, the old rooster tails. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Look at that. Pre barcode days on those too. Two seventy nine for the pre. -code. Yep. Uh, I like the old school roosters. I actually like these because they don't stop spinning. Yep. I'm a maps guy, but honestly, these are kind of nice. Sa <laughs> Same with the uh, the Panther Martins, right? Definitely. Yeah, these yeah. guys back in here. There's some old flash glows that are hanging out in here. Check out some of these. We found some of these. Grab, all right. Yeah, well, that's coming with me, but I already spotted that. So, first off, <laughs> look at this. The old school hookworm. I've actually been eyeing this thing up. This is a bait that shows up in ads sometimes. I've never actually seen one in person. And, and definitely like the most old school of colors, that old just blue. clear blue for two ninety nine. So, Bass and Buds, um... Don't call Austin about this because it's not going to be here. That one's going to just go with me. 
So then what's that one? Laser tail, but it seems to be a so, so what is a laser tail? Yeah, it's just the tail that glows day or night. Oh, that is wild. Look at that. Some of these smaller spots just have the concentration. This is one that has it's a lure Jensen. See, oh, well, I will say this. If I don't know if you're fishing old school, but you definitely have the old school eye because these are the things that I spotted when I walked in. This exact one, and even those uh, fly holders. Mm -hmm. But look at that. That's just the wildest looking thing. If you got a second, I might be able to uh, dig out some older plastics I was thinking of here too. So let's see what we can find. Yes. Let's do it. Some newer and a little bit older stuff. <laughs> oh no. Some classic Mr. Twister Exude. Whoa, it's yeah. A little, little juicy. That's okay. Oh, those, oh my goodness. Yeah. The exude crawl chunk. All kinds of different exude stuff in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, let's. All sorts of different stuff on those Mr. Twisters. Oh no, and by the way, so that looked like a heavy. <laughs> that's like 50 pounds of old school rubber right there. It's old Terminator stuff, not quite as old as some of this other stuff, obviously, but the snapback plastics pre Z Man Elastec. Yeah, okay, so that's the same concept. Same exact concept on that. Wow. Got some old Storm stuff. This is Storm Manufacturing. I think it's post Normark, however. Yeah, but those are still old. I remember those, 100%. The lizards, and it comes with uh, the actual hooks as well. Kind of a different one here. That, 289. Uh, might not be quite as lure oriented, but it's a bunch of retro evil. No, I love old hooks. Yeah. Oh, that is pretty cool. And it's amazing how often they used to sell hooks without the snell. Big time. Like it used to be the thing. I guess people knew how to tie knots back then. Baby bug. That is like the tiniest little tube. Some of these I, didn't know, I didn't know Rick Clum was a crappie fisherman. Oh, and, and look at these. So these are packaged as a lizard, but it's obviously not a lizard in there. No, what is that in there? That's, I'm not sure. Some more Rick Clum tubes of some sort. Huh. Hey, how you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Wow. I have some. This is from 2003, Riverside Mystic Shads. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Wait, what is that one? Looks like a fluke, maybe. Oh, and there's another one. Look at that. Yeah, the uh, Koti. Oh, it's got a crankbait bill on it. That's wild. Oh, my goodness. Oh, a lot more of the same, some some Burke original light. Oh, lights. wait. Oh, no, no, no. Look at that, the old Burke. That is awesome. That is a about the um, smallest swim bait I've ever seen. With dust and all right on top. Yeah, that's going <laughs> to go on. The same on some stuff in there, but uh, definitely the... More of those snapbacks. Yep. Yeah, and those have that same Elastec feel, so they, but they're a tube. Which oh, is the Exude. Oh, look at that. The old Pocket Dad. That's actually a tough one. Yeah, it worked out. Pretty That's pretty a nice good. bait. This looks different here. Hurricane. I remember Hurricane. They're more of a saltwater brand, definitely. I think. Yeah, the Cedar Key series. But that looks like a little uh, little worm, though. That's definitely yeah, a, I mean, a, a large a mouth. Shot on that or something? 100%. A little eel. Ooh, that's wild. So the Hurricanes are interesting. Bro. Uncle Bucks, why not? <laughs> the exudes, oh my goodness. Oh wow, check it out. So there's a whole bunch of those Burks. What's the price on that? It's hard to see with the Raymans. Take a peek. Buck 25. Buck 25 for those little dudes. Oh, those are nice. Let me put those over there for now. Some corn. All right, does this thing actually work? I've seen this before, the corn. I always wondered about this one. It's always being in the industry as long as I have. you got your but fish catchers and your fisherman catchers. Yeah, but, the, uh, the old rubber corn. That's wild. And uh, salmon eggs as well. <laughs> oh, that's a nice little uh, drop shot finesse uh, worm there. A very natural yellow color. <laughs> well, you don't see much anymore, huh? No. Ooh, okay, so this is interesting. Snapback Pitching Tube, you might sell some of these. Yeah. So who's that dude on there? Uh, Skeet Reese, yeah. 
Looks this, a little younger. These are our options. We got. Oh, that's Axe nice. Soft. I don't know if that I've seen that. You can stretch them. That's really green. soft. Bluegill flipping tube. Orange. And then in gel spin, we got this yellow. Those are actually really nice. Wow. A whole bunch. And a whole bunch of them. Uh, How much are those guys? $2.99. Two, nice. Score. And yet more of these snapbacks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this, are these all ski reefs as well? Yep. So it looks like a 10 inch worm. Ooh. Probably don't throw a lot of 10 inch worms in uh, Colorado, do you? Not much around here. So it's, everything is just downside. Uh, smoke red uh, flipping tube. Nice camo. Wow. And last is some more pocket dads. Wow, that's actually a nice little assortment of, uh, look at that. Slimy <laughs> exudes. Yep, buddy. Grab a few off the shelf, an old man's loudmouth spinner bay. Yes, this was here last time. I can't believe this is still here. Somebody's got to buy this. Listen to that. How is that still here? All right, I love these old beetle spins. Uh, the, the classic Bass Buster. Uh, vacuum packed, which they're like totally impossible to get off the card, but you know, 249. That's pretty sweet. Old early 2000s blade dancer. Okay, yeah. So this one is, um, I, I think I probably fished this bait before. It, it's like a spoon in a, in a a grub all in one. Almost like a pre chatter bait. Like a pre chatter bait, yeah. But you got to fish it really slow to get any action. It's kind of weird. Um, but that's interesting. The old blade dancer. Yeah. Pure fishing. Nice. And then a couple more some speedy shiners. Ooh. The old fast track. Yep, yep. A single strike king. Oh, that's not a new one, huh? Not a new one. Yep, that's an old one. That's been here longer than I have. Series five. How much is this guy? I uh, we probably do four ninety nine. Doesn't even have a price on it. Look at that. Nice. Shiner. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I like the old spoon packaging. And what is this? Some pen level wines. So wait, which one is this? Because this is I've got, I've fished a level wine or two in my day, never this small. That's a really small one. What would you use that for? It's it's kind of an obsolete size. Uh, outside of folks doing round reel musky type style fishing on the smaller side of things, but still definitely under that. Because breath. you can't cast with this, right? You can flip your lever over and then have your thumb on it. Yeah. But it's a retro deal for sure. Probably more of a trolling reel. It looks, yeah, it definitely has that trolling yep. reel handle, but a small profile. The 9M. That's nice. How much is this guy? Those guys, I would do it. $39.99. What a deal. That's a good looking reel. Yeah. So just taking a walk around this place, it is clear the Bass and Buds went hard on discount fishing tackle. So uh, some of the highlights of the last video were the vintage spoons and spinners. I will show you what's left. A lot of stuff has definitely been uh, picked over pretty well. Yet, even a year later, there's still definitely some old school gold still in the peg. Here's the selection of vintage MEPS spinners. Uh, these are all the MEPS Lightning Spinners. I just actually, this is my favorite. It's like the Will Leaf version of the MEPS Inline Spinner with a little bit of a reflective tape. I always loved fishing that one as a kid. Everything from really small Lightnings, like that dude. Right here. Probably a sixteenth of an ounce, all the way up to the bigger model. And that looks like that's probably a third of an ounce. So here's a section that Austin was showing me that I had not seen before. And I, a lure that I've never actually heard of before. It's called CP Swing. Spinning lures, the swinger. I don't know. That's pretty glorious. So it looks like it's just some sort of version of a MEPS. Nothing special. But you can tell how the metal's oxidized. That sucker is probably uh, 40 plus years old at this point. It definitely looks like it's something out of the 70s. Oh, and there's another nice one. It's called the uh, CP Swinger, the smaller version. <laughs> the little swinger, I guess, huh? 
And these guys are all, looks like uh, $2.99 for those. I'm gonna take a few of these uh, buds, but I'll leave some on the pig for sure. Oh, and then down here. <laughs> How cool is that? Fly box. Uh, old school from Lord Jensen and Sons. Nice little fly box there. And the bigger version. <laughs> a big one at $2.99. I think the little one was the same. Yep. Well, as is typical here on Retro Bassin, uh, I am the last one in the shop this evening. Also, just trying to close down so you can get out of here for the night. So uh, I hurried up and put a few things on the shelf that I can be taking with me back to Texas. I will definitely drop all of the contact information for Discount Fishing Tackle again in the description of this video. If you're in Denver, definitely check them out. But if you're not, don't be afraid to pick up the phone, give them a call if you see some old school gold here that you just have to have. Until next time, Bass and Buds, keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bass.